Hey there pretty people and welcome back to Such Pretty. Today we are doing a look that was quite popular on my Instagram but I decided to um, switch up some of the colors to use one of the new palettes that I just got um, with a Shopkick gift card. So if you don't know what Shopkick is, um, I will give you a link to um, sign up it down below but what it is basically is you scan items in stores and you walk into stores and you get points and then you redeem those points for gift cards so um, I've been using the app for probably about three years and I've gotten and then my parents also use it and my parents give me all their gift cards because they're super sweet um, <laughs> you can get a Sephora gift card or Best Buy or Home Depot or a gas card there's like a bunch of different things that you can get I've gotten um, almost every single one of my Kat Von D lipsticks um, with ten dollar with a ten dollar off Shopkick card, so um, I've probably earned over two hundred dollars in Shopkick points um, that I use at Sephora, and I just redeemed a twenty five dollar card, uh, a twenty five dollar Shopkick card. Um, I just bought the Pantone Sephora Color of the Year palette, um, which has like a ton of these really neat pastel shades. It's getting a lot of like super not good reviews, which is kind of um, strange to me. And actually Sasha and I talked about how it's kind of weird how poor um, the reviews for this Pantone palette are because um, when the Sigma Creme de Couture palette came out, everyone, it sold out in like minutes and like these shades perform exactly the same as like these shades like over a white sticky base they're phenomenal uh, I use it in this video and I'm super impressed with the pigmentation I use this over NYX eyeshadow pencil um, in milk and I'm really impressed with the pigmentation and I really like it and I love pastel so um <laughs> I talked a lot this is going to be kind of a half um a half voiceover, half talk through tutorial because um, when I got to the splatter in the eyes and when I got to the glitter and stuff, I decided I just needed to um, tell you what was going on because there were so many products that I was using and I just thought that it would just be easier if I just spoke um, through it. So like the first half is just, it starts with me um, already in my foundation. If you uh, would like to learn how to do these splatter ga galaxy eyes, um, and these lips and this face and everything, then uh, keep watching and uh, let's just go ahead and get started. My face makeup is already done and my eyes are primed and I'm going to start out with NYX Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil in Milk as a base. It is kind of sticky so um, it helps powdery shadows like the Pantone ones adhere better. I am just going over it with a fluffy brush um, to blend the color out and I'm starting with this purple Pantone color on the inner third of my eyelids. I am cleaning the brush off in between colors um, but I am using the same brush to pr apply Serenity in the center of the lid and then I'm going back with the same brush again and applying the teal color from the bottom row in a sort of wing shape in the outer corners of my eyelids. To blend it all together I'm going to use the white and a clean blending brush. Okay, so now for the splatter. Um, I decided not to do a voiceover for this technique because I'm going to be showing a lot of different products and a lot of different brushes, and I want to talk about different techniques um, and how to get different splatter patterns on to your eyes. So um, I typically like to use uh, liquid lipsticks for this. So I picked two Jeffree Star liquid lipsticks that I want to splatter over my eyes um, to create that galaxy or paint splatter effect, whatever you guys are watching for, whatever you um, are aiming for. And I'll give you a couple of different um, techniques. I'm also going to use uh, the NYX liquid white eyeliner. NYX also recently came out with a bunch of um, colored eyeliners that I think have a similar formula to this where they dry matte. Um, and I really like to use this for splatter um, because using the the brush that it comes with gives just a different effect than some of the other brushes that I use. So um, I'm going to start out with um, the white splatter with the NYX white eyeliner and I'm just going to use the brush 
that's in here and what I like to do is I like to really get it in there and load up as much product on it as I can and then I just take the tip of edge of my fingernail as you can see I've been practicing with other colors um, and I just flick it back um, and I just kind of keep it about an inch away from my eye and um, just kind of let the splatter fall where it lays. So with this longer brush like this, um, you get like a lot of line splatter, uh, which I really like. And uh, the white is probably the most stark color that I picked and I like it to stand out the most. Uh, so I'm going to do extra white on each eye. So um, this stuff when it dries in this particular formula, the NYX formula, when it dries in your eyebrows, it can get um, pretty hard to get out. So I'm just going to uh, take a spoolie and go through my eyebrows so that that stuff doesn't stay. I kind of want my eyebrows um, to be clean and not have any splatter. I also have this brush which is actually very much like the NYX brush. Um, it's a nail brush and um, I like to use this end to put dots of color if um, I want a couple more dots of splatter or whatever and then also this brush kind of has the same effect where when I run it across my fingernail it gives kind of a lined um, splatter so I'm going to use that color or this brush for this color um, Jawbreaker by Jeffree Star and I'm just going to um, load up the edge of the, the the end of the brush with the tip of the applicator here and do the same thing that I did with the last one. I'm just going to um, use my fingernail, the edge of my fingernail, to splatter the paint onto my eye, or just splatter the lipstick onto my eye. I'm gonna use a different brush. For this dark blue, I, it's Blue Velvet by Jeffree Star Cosmetics, and I'm going to use this Japanese brush. Um, it's a push liner brush, so it's um, very thin here and long. It, it's used to push eyeliner against your lash line there. But uh, what I'm going to do is apply some of the lipstick to it, and then um, I hold it and run my fingernail against the very tips of the bristles and um, you get some interesting splatter patterns with that. So that's what I'm going to do with this dark blue. It gives more of a spray, a really light spray. And since this color is so dark, I kind of, I kind of want it to be more subtle. Okay, so I pretty much have it how I want it now. Um, I'm just going to lean in so that you can see all of the different um, colors. And then I, if anything gets out of the area which you would like to be splattering, um, I just take a Q-tip and try and get all of that off before it dries just because it gets kind of difficult to get off once it dries. And then I'm just going to run over those areas with my um, concealer brush here and just fix it. There's so that's all of the splatter colors and now I'm just going to go back in and um, do some makeup around the under part of my eye and add blush and just finish the look off so uh, on the inner corners of the eye I'm gonna go in with this Luxie Beauty shade 
Um, it's called Duper Star. It's kind of similar to like um, Max Stars and Rockets or Fishnet by Urban Decay. It's kind of a purple pink duochrome. So I'm going to take a pencil brush here and I'm just going to pack it with this color and I'm going to go in on the inner corner of the eye. I'm also going to go in, and in with this Luxie shade here, which is called Omega. Um, it is a purple teal duochrome, and I'm just going to use the same pencil brush and just sweep it underneath the eye here into this um, shape outward. And lastly, for the eyes, just to blend all of that color underneath, I am going to um, go back to my Pantone palette here and use this light pink color um, and a fluffy brush and just blend underneath. Something that I would I like to do to um, create just a little bit more depth in the look is to add glitter sort of to the center of the lid. So I'm going to actually mix a couple of glitters that I have um, to get a more deeper dynamic effect um, and they're different sizes of glitters as well so it'll further kind of uh, create a dimension so I'm going to use um, this pink toned uh, poppin pigments from hard candy and this one came in the silver dollar set um, it's a little bit big bigger of a glitter particle. And then I'm going to use NYX Violet Glitter. It is gorgeous uh, holographic glitter. Okay, so I'm just gonna take a really small concealer brush and a little bit of the Lit Mixing Medium that I got in the Lit Kit from Sephora. Um, I just dip, dip it in, get the tip a little bit wet, and then I'm going to dip it into my glitter mixture here. And this is what my glitter mix looks like. And I'm just going to dab it into the center of the eye from both sides. So it added some glitter to the center and it looks really neat in the mirror. I don't know if the camera is really picking up how cool it looks. Um, hopefully when I take pictures it'll look nice. Um, so I'm also going to get my lips, finish my lips here. And just to tie it all together, um, I'm going to be using uh, the Free Star Jawbreaker for my lips, uh, which I, is also one of the colors that I use to paint the splatters on my eyes. And I am going to apply the Jeffree Star lip stick straight from the tube onto my lips. And that is all there is to it. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed it and um, I hope you like videos like this where um, I have an Instagram look that I kind of change up so that I can film it. Um, when I have an Instagram look that has a lot of love like that galaxy pasta, that galaxy look that I did um, a couple weeks ago, I uh, asked if you guys wanted a tutorial, everybody said yes. So um, I decided instead of just doing the exact same look and just posting that look again and again and again, that I would do the same um, the same general shape that I used and then um, the same kind of techniques that I used with the splatter um, and show you guys how to do that. So if you guys liked this video, then like and comment and subscribe. Um, if you have any requests or questions for me, all of the information on how to get in touch with me will be down below. And thanks for stopping by, and I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you. Thank you.